In this video, we're gonna be talking about a new sleep tracking device and it's called Sleep Breathe. And no, this isn't the same mask that is used in Christopher Nolan's new movie, Tenet, to help breathe inverted air. What this mask actually does is help you diagnose certain sleep disorders, such as snoring or sleep apnea. So we all know what snoring is, but what is sleep apnea? Well, sleep apnea is a condition during sleep where you stop breathing many times throughout the entire night. Common symptoms of sleep apnea is waking up very groggy, very tired throughout the day, or you snore a lot. Your partner detects that you're snoring a lot, or you just simply gasp for air. Sometimes you wake up in the middle of the night and you're just kind of like choking or you're gasping for air. This is a really serious condition that over time can really affect your health. Another word for stop breathing event is called an apnea event. And this device actually detects when you have an apnea event. So basically you just kind of stop breathing for let's say 10 seconds. This will lower your blood oxygen saturation throughout the night, but that type of reading can be very inaccurate. So if you're not relying on an actual, let's say a watch that detects your blood oxygen saturation re reading, the best thing is to actually use your breath. And this type of tracking is actually used in CPAP machines. CPAP machines, for those who don't know, is something that will blow continuous positive air into your airway so that your breathing remains unobstructed throughout the night. Let's talk about the device. As you can see, it's a mask made of silicone and it's very light with all these air hoses that make it very easy to breathe throughout the night. When you unbox this, you'll notice that it comes with various different size straps. And I found that the straps are very easy to put on. All you have to do is slide it right into the little holes. And when you put it on, it just feels very easy to put on. The task is very simple. And you might be wondering, is breathing throughout the night, is, is it difficult? Does it hinder your breathing? It absolutely does not hinder your breathing. I found this to be just kind of like you're not wearing anything at all. It doesn't, you, don't, you kind of just get used to it over throughout the night and breathing is very comfortable with it. One nice thing is that they make this shareable. So in case you, know, you, you want to respect your hygiene, you want to be able to wash this all the time and maybe share it with a different family member or a friend, all you have to do is remove the actual uh, chip or the device. And then you can just wash this. Very simple, and then put it back on. This is something I really like. It's easy to clean, and you can share it with other people without having to you know, be worried about hygiene. In terms of charging device, it's really simple. It connects using magnets, which is something I always really appreciate because it's just very safe to take it on and take it off many times. And in terms of the battery life, it lasts up to 16 hours, which is more than sufficient if you want to track this for your entire night's sleep. So I've always wanted to try a device that uses your breath to detect your sleep apnea events instead of using your not so reliable SpO2 reading, the blood oxygen saturation reading. The reason why the SpO2 or pulse ox or whatever you want to call it can be misleading is, let's say for example, the, let's say you're using a watch and it tracks your SpO2, it may not be strapped on properly to your wrist, so you might be getting poor reading. Another reason is that you have poor blood cir circulation in general, so it's going to be hard to track your blood oxygen. And sometimes you might even just be sleeping on your arm, and that will hinder the performance of the SpO2 tracking device. So many of these things are avoided when you actually use a mask like this that detects your actual breath. What's nice about the sleep breathe mask is that you can experiment with different type of things to see how your sleep apnea is affected. So when you use this, let's say you want to experiment and say you want to track your sleep apnea events based on the different sleeping positions. And so maybe you don't want to sleep on your back anymore. You want to sleep on your stomach. This is something that has been obviously a big factor in sleep apnea patients is that when you sleep on your back, you might get more stop breathing events or apnea events. Or let's say you want to use a different type of pillow or a different type of firmness of your bed. Some other experiments that you might want to consider is maybe using a mouth guard to keep your mouth a little bit more open. Maybe try losing some weight and see if you have any influence or any you know positive uh, results if you lose some weight and you can actually just use this to monitor your results over time. You can do all these types of experiments at your home without having to go to a doctor and then pay lots of money for a huge, you know, big experiment, a big test to hook up all these electrodes to you. This is very simple, very unobtrusive to your nightly sleep. And what's nice about this is that you can try many different experiments at the comfort of your own home. So Sleep Breathe does many other types of metrics. For example, it can detect your respiratory rate or your breaths per minute. And this is something that I've only seen in the Garmin VivoActive series, the VivoActive 4 series. So it's really nice that they include this information. This is, could be very helpful to see, you know, how many breaths you're taking per minute. A normal range is anywhere from 12 to 20. And I found that the results of this is very similar to what I've seen on my VivoActive 4S. Another very important metrics that you might want to keep track of is the sleep position. Like I said before, your sleep position can have a very strong influence on your actual sleep throughout the night. For example, many patients who have sleep apnea, when they sleep on their back, they tend to have more blockage in their throat, which leads to more stop breathing events. 
So it's very appreciated that they added an accelerometer that allows you to track whether you're on the left or right. And from my experience, the only device that really reliably tracks this is the Better Sleep Tuner, which I reviewed on this channel. And I found that the results of both the Sleep Breathe and the Sleep Tuner to be very similar in terms of how much they track from side versus sleeping on my back. The nice positive about the actual Sleep Breathe is that it will track the right versus left. Uh, with, with the other one, the sleep tuner, it only tracks when you're sleeping on your side. So perhaps in some cases, distinguishing between the left and right side when you're sleeping on your side is gonna be very helpful. Another important sleep metric that the sleep breathe tracks is different stages of your sleep. For example, REM sleep versus light sleep versus deep sleep. And this is, the reason why this is so important is some people such as myself will get more sleep apnea events during REM sleep. This is when you're dreaming and you're kind of like your body's more relaxed. Maybe your throat is more relaxed during this phase of sleep and you might be more susceptible to sleep apnea events. So this is something very important for personally for me to monitor is when exactly am I getting my the most stop breathing events throughout the night? Is it during my deep sleep? Is it during my REM sleep? And interestingly, I noticed that the Better Sleep Tuner and the Loki Ring Sleep Monitor, which are sleep trackers that help monitor sleep apnea conditions, they don't provide this information. They don't provide the different various sleep stages. So I'm very glad that Sleep Circle included this, all these metrics into the actual tracking of this device. So let's talk about the software experience. This is something that is very important. You get to be seeing all your metrics in it. Now the pairing process is very simple. All you have to do is long press on the actual button over here and it'll automatically connect with Bluetooth. I found the connection process very simple. You'll create an account in the app. What's really interesting is that the app will show in real time your, your breathing and your snoring. So you can see here, I have the app open. I'm gonna show you what exactly I'm seeing as I put on the mask. So putting on the mask is very simple like that and you'll see a green light and a Bluetooth light. That light will turn off over time, so don't worry, it's not gonna bother you at night. Let's do some breathing exercises. So I'm taking some deep breaths. Now I'm gonna fake an apnea event, a stop breathing event. I'm just gonna hold my breath. Okay, so you can see there, there's a long line where I just didn't breathe. So this is very accurate. I'm really impressed with the real-time monitoring of this device. And the snoring is also very interesting. I don't actually snore that much during my sleep, but it can actually sense that as well. So that's very cool. So moving on in the software, let's talk about some of the sleep results I had. You can see here, I'm just breathing normally. And then after that, I get an apnea event here. So it detected it very properly and you can notice that there was some noise detected. So this could have been me maybe snoring or kind of choking for whatever reason. So this graph is very helpful to get very fine grain information. As you can see, they provide the timeline over here. You see over there, you can see that there's a timeline. So this is very cool if you want to kind of match this with other types of information. So one thing that's really cool is that it tells you the sleep position. So that right now I'm on my left side and as I scroll, And as I scrolled, you can see that sometimes I'm, I'm mostly on my right side, sometimes on my flat. What's really nice is that I can seek through the graph and I can see where all my apnea events have happened. And as you can see here, the red is showing that I had a lot of apnea events. And I've compared this to my three other or four other sleep trackers, the Better Sleep Tuner, the Loki Ring Sleep Monitor, and my Garmin Vivoactive 4S. And they're showing very similar results around this time. So you can see around here, this time is around 7.15. Over here, you can see that the time is highlighted, which is something really appreciated because a lot of apps not, are not gonna show you this information. For example, the Fitbit, it, it's very hard to seek to the exact same uh, exact time. So this gives you very detailed information. As I scroll down, you can see the sleep score that, that I had. So it was really relatively low. That means I didn't sleep that much that night. And you can see that I had deep sleep, light sleep, and what, what my awake time is. So this is very helpful to diagnose uh, whether or not I'm getting more apnea events. Uh, let's say, for example, during my deep sleep. Now moving down the list, this is also very interesting. The snoring index is gonna tell me how much, how much I, how often I snore. It seems to be on my right side more often. And over here again, I'm on my right side. So this is very interesting data. And what I really like about being able to see how many stop breathing events you have is what, based on the side you're on. So if you're asleep on your back, you're gonna be flat, you might be getting more stop breathing events. In my case, I do get still get a lot of stop breathing events when I'm sleeping on my right side. 
And I've actually compared this data with the Better Sleep Tuner, and I found that this is also very accurate. Mo the majority of my sleep throughout that time period was on my right side or on my side, for example. And at the bottom, they give you some suggestions. For example, one thing I found really interesting is that perhaps I should use a different pillow. Maybe my pillow is too high and maybe it's causing me to kind of obstruct my breathing. So this is very, very helpful tips here. So in the end, I have to say that I'm very impressed with the Sleep Breathe Mask. This tracking device is very accurate in terms of detecting stop breathing events because it's using a new way of tracking your uh, stop breathing events without relying on your blood oxygen saturation, which can be a little bit fuzzy at times. Overall, the mask is very comfortable, easy to put on, easy to care for. And what I really like about this is that I don't have to get a expensive sleep study test to just to experiment with different types of things. Let's say I wanna get a smaller pillow and see how that has influenced my kind of breathing events. This is a very nifty tool to have at your home so you, you can actually perform these experiments without the large costs. Anyways, that's it for this video. Please let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions about the Sleep Breathe Mask. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.